Hey guys, thanks for tuning into your review channel. Today we have something a little different to do. As always, we always have cool stuff to do. I'm in my workshop again, and I picked up this really awesome old radio from Worldstar. So if you're ever out in a estate sale or a yard sale or whatever, and you see these old radios, don't pass them by. They're really cool radios. They're really different and unique. And, and this one does work. So I plugged in and it does work, which is kind of cool. All the dials work, everything works. A uh, little static over here and there uh, on these dials. And these are really easy fix to do, just to let you know in uh, one trick. So you know, let's just pick up some of this. Um, you can see it here. The Oxid D5, this stuff is awesome. You spray this on any of the old electronics and it just cleans it right up and you get that static and it's gone. So that's your first tip right there. So all the like knobs and everything like, you know, you get that static, the old, the old fashioned static, clean, crappy noise, whatever. So I did all that to all the knobs. I cleaned everything up here. This little noise here is just the, if you can hear that. That's just the wire in there, and unfortunately, they really can't do it. I don't want to fool around with that because I don't want to mess around with the wire, with the um, with the strength of the tuning. Don't want to mess with that. But everything does work, so it's really kind of cool. But the big problem I come across, and you'll come across this all the time as well, is the battery compartment. That's really where the problem comes in all the time. Okay, so here we are. This is the battery um, compartment here, and this thing was loaded with six D cell batteries, and it they were leaking and rusty and acid everywhere it was a mess a mess a mess so i cleaned it out as best i could um and if there's some issues with like a little dirt over here so i have to sand this down which is not a problem i'll get that clean um but this is a spring here and you can see the spring is nice and clean but this spring here is missing so i'll show you i'll point that out too so this spring here you can see it's missing so this is what it's supposed to look like um and it's missing so it won't work or the batteries won't reach that that's too small for it to reach so we need to repair this so so instead of throwing out the radio and not using it or if you want to just resell it and you want to repair it you can order these springs online so i order these springs there's a whole bag here of um it's like 20 springs for like i don't know 10 bucks whatever i'll leave links down below where you can find this kind of stuff uh, so i'm going to pretty much just solder this new spring in so i got my soldering gun I got some heavy duty solder here. I got my flux. Um, and um, we're going to go to town. We're just going to basically just re solder it so it kind of looks similar to this one. It's a little, a little bit smaller, but it, sometimes it's hard to find the exact same beefy, you know, gauge wire and all that. But this will work just as fine. Just fine. It's got the same distance. I measured it. Um, so we're just going to just put this in here and um, see how it goes. All right. Let's just see. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Any questions or any comments? If I can help you out at all, let me know. Uh, we're just going to pop this in here. I'm going to actually just, um, this little stub sticking out right here, little piece right there. So I'm going to try to, uh, I've done it before. I just want to just wrap it around that, attach it, let it sit there. And then I'm going to solder the heck out of it. Um, then I'm going to adjust it and that should be fine. That should work. Okay. Let's get to work and uh, see how it looks. Okay, I want to speed this up. So I worked on this for about 15 minutes or so, and I just couldn't get it to work. So I ended up pulling out that whole pin. You'll see that in a minute, and then taking out the rivet, and just basically soldering it in. So I'll show you how I did that right now. All right, hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. So that wasn't working. So I was able to actually slide this whole thing out. So this comes out. This is just basically like a um, like a loop. So it brings the power back to here. Uh, so all the power is here, I believe. So yeah, you get the positive and negative all runs down here. This is just like a, a loop to bring it back. So this slides out. I was able to break off the old spring. And you can see there's a hole here. Okay, so how to repair that? I think I have an idea. I got the old rivet out. Okay, that old rivet, rivet was sticking in there. So you can see that. I got that out. So now we're left with this piece here. So what do we do? I'll show you what I'm going to do. And I think it's going to work. So the pigtail. I'm going to slide the pigtail through here. You gotta see in a minute. And it goes in the back. So hopefully you can see it's a little close, but the pigtail is sticking out right here. You can see I'm gonna solder this right down to this here, and that is gonna be good as no check that out. That's awesome. That's gonna work perfect. Uh, so just pull out the old rivet. It, that was the best way to do it. So you know you gotta live it, learn, figure it out. So I want to show you what I did. So maybe it just save you some time. Uh, so I'm just gonna solder this right down here. Hopefully that'll work real easy let's get some flux let's get the soldering gun going okay so i wanted to speed this up as well this took a few minutes because i kept on falling and holding it so make sure you use a tool to hold it that's going to get really hot so i used a pair of uh, needle nose pliers to hold it i used a beef uh, my real beefy soldering gun and that really worked really really well and hopefully that worked let's see oh yeah beautiful that's hot Ooh. And that is in there. That is soldered. That ain't going anywhere. That's a good connection. 
Yep, there you go. And then we're just gonna pop that back in and we're gonna straighten out the spring and that should work absolutely perfect. Just the idea just to get that on there is really kind of cool. Move this, straighten this out a little bit before I put it back in. Into the channel. Pop this down. There you go. And that's gonna work. And done. So it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just hitting the battery. And, it don't, and it's really gonna be, it's gonna work really good. One, two, and one more with the spring. Spring pushes down and pushes in. There you go, so the spring, so hopefully you can see there, it's compressing the battery, it is touching it, pushing everything down, and then the next set of batteries go this way and pushes against this, and this battery is gonna rock and roll. Okay guys, so that's it. Okay guys, so what I wanted to do here, just do a, just a, a quick uh, follow up of that. So you saw how I put the spring in, um, and I don't, I'm actually short a battery, uh, but I will work with five batteries. You don't necessarily need six, so it's just so you know. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump the battery and just show you that it does work. So I did the spring down there, as you saw before, and I already have the radio on. I'm just gonna pop this in and connect it, and. You can see here, it does work. Okay guys, so I just wanted to let you know that it does work. It works perfectly. You can see I'm just connecting the battery and reconnecting it and you can see it does work. All right, so I hope I brought you some value. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it helps me so I can continue helping you. Okay guys, and I'll see you at the next review.